All right, it's a Wednesday. It is cold as a mug, but I miss documenting my life, so I'm gonna do it. So today I'm gonna take you through a day in the life at PBS. That is the public broadcasting service here in the US. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. I got here early so I could vlog while no one was around. Uh, but yeah, this is our space. We've got a nice little couch area here, which we usually use to have more casual meetings or screen episodes. Nice VidCon bean bag. Represent DFTBA. Got our mood lighting because harsh fluorescence nobody likes. And uh, yeah, this is it. And this is my desk. Meow. So right now I'm an associate director of programming at PBS. So basically what I do is help to develop a lot of our online shows. So we have about 20 different educational programs. Our main audience is on YouTube, but we're also on Facebook and our own PBS platforms. Our shows range on topics from history and culture to art to science. Um, but one show that's particularly close to my heart uh, is called Say It Loud. about black history and culture and achievement and I actually created and executive produced that show. So I came up with the concept, I got the production team involved, I got the writers involved, I got the hosts involved, working with your faves, Hollis and Evelyn from the internets. So we get to work with other YouTubers, which is cool. And I found a historian so that everything was grounded in facts and had proper historical context because we want to make sure that all our stuff is accurate and educational. And I really guided the tone and the look and feel of the show from start to finish. So that's a lot of what we're doing is like developing these shows, fleshing out the concepts, making sure the editorial is going in the right direction and that it's going to find an audience that really needs to, to see it. Today I have a couple meetings about ongoing shows that we have. Uh, we're launching a season two of one show and we're also brainstorming names for some channels that we have coming up. Uh, I also have to do reviews of the different episodes. Every episode that we put out, someone on our team has to watch to make sure that it goes by our editorial guidelines, but also to be able to give any feedback and just make sure that there are no mistakes in it. I'm looking at scripts, I'm looking at rough cuts, and then I have a couple of things uh, to write up on my computer. So pretty typical office stuff. usually drink coffee but it is a coffee kind of day she is tired all right so this is actually the studio um, PBS Digital Studios. <laughs> we don't actually produce anything in-house. We work with producers across the country, uh, but we do have this space just, you know, just in case a little sum sum comes up. You know, you know, maybe a little sum up. We mainly just use it for like maybe recording something for social. Other parts of the PBS building uh, like to use some of this equipment and uh, we use it for meetings. <laughs> we also work with production companies. So one you might know is called Complexly. It's John and Hank Green's company and they produce the art assignment and eons and a little little show called Crash Course. You, you may have heard it. It only has like 10 million subscribers. And we have also worked with independent producers and YouTubers. Uh, so Diana Cowan of Physics Girl is one example of that. She does her own show and she has a team of people who work with her, um, but we work with her directly. So the behind the scenes of how we work with each show is different. They all have different structures, but what we do is to help develop the shows, give editorial feedback, promote the shows, distribute the shows. We find sponsors for funding. We apply to grants. We find ways ways for PBS as a whole to really connect with the shows and for the shows on the network to connect with each other and learn from each other. And so I wind up spending a lot of my day talking to producers, uh, which is a lot of what I'm in this room for. We always want to be checking in, seeing how things are going, seeing how we can help. So video call coming up and uh, we'll get that done. And it's no use working not to fall. If you want more than to stay alive. Just finished lunch. There are a lot of lunch places around, so it's easy to just bop by somewhere and buy a meal. I eat at my desk maybe about half the time to either do personal work or maybe watch a really long rough cut. Um, but then I will, you know, sometimes get out, try at least get a walk in, 
go buy myself something nice to treat yourself. But I also do love doing my mason jar lunches and bringing lunch in. We have a fridge to store anything. And then sometimes I get lunch with a colleague or we do team lunches sometimes. So there are a lot of options. And we're actually in like an underground mall right now. That's what this is. But anyway, time to get back to work. It's the end of the day, but it's also the end of an era for me because what I haven't mentioned is that this is actually my last week at PBS. I've been here for a full three years and it's been an amazing journey, um, but it's also, you know, time for me to grow and try new things and, you know, push myself. On this channel, we are all about personal growth. She's spreading her wings. I feel like this felt to me like college feels for some people. Like college was definitely not the best four years of my life. In college, I fell down. I made so many mistakes. I mean, it was rough, like that mess hurt. But here I've really been able to learn and grow. I felt so supported. I found a community of like-minded video nerds who care about inspiring and educating and helping make the world a better place through all my video. I get to work with YouTubers all day. I get to really have my mind in educational media. It's just been an incredible time. I love working for a mission-driven organization. I've had such great experiences and opportunities and it's, it's just been really incredible. And I wanted to capture this. I wanted to capture the essence of this place while I was still in this moment. By the time you're watching this, it's probably a few months out, so I will cut back to future Asante, uh, probably present day Asante. Indeed, it is I, present day Asante. I left PBS in November and it is now January, so we are a couple months out. And in reflecting on this past year and how far I've come since last January, I've grown by leaps and bounds and PBS has been a huge part of that. I'm someone who tends to be very work focused. I love getting things done. I find work to be really fulfilling and I want to have a long and varied career. My time at PBS felt so formative. I came in as a young, wide-eyed person who was filling in a bunch of different gaps in the department. I assumed a lot of responsibility. I rose quickly and I left as associate director of programming. I laughed, I cried, I was stressed, I was blessed. I spoke at VidCon for the fifth year in a row and I moderated a panel about navigating identity online. I co-led a talk at YouTube's Educon about diversity and inclusion in online video. I'm super proud of Say It Loud and the whole team behind that. We hit 100,000 subscribers in our first year, less than a year, and we showed at XOXO Festival in Portland, Oregon this fall. Dancing that line and making sure that we're paying homage to the history while also representing a demographic of people and helping them feel seen, um, but also making sure that it's palatable and more approachable to a wider audience too is pretty hard. Making a Black History show was something that I personally had wanted to do for several years. It relates to a lot of the content on this channel, but getting to work on it through PBS with such a fabulous team made Say It Loud better than anything I could have done on my own, especially with this low budget. So if you haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend. I know I'm biased, but it's fun, it's funny, it's uplifting, it's relatable, and you learn things. I felt like I had done everything that there was for me to do at PBS, so it was time for me to graduate. I'm a proud alum. I have all of the shirts. And it's just time for a new chapter, you know, like new year, new decade, new job, all right, freshen it up. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know where I am now. So just saying, you might wanna follow me on Instagram, like I'm just saying. I especially want to thank my Patreon patrons for sticking with me this past year. I've had a lot going on, I've had to take care of business off platform, but y'all have been my ride or die, so Y'all are the reason why I'm still out here in these YouTube streets. I see you and I appreciate you. If you like my videos and you wanna help me to continue making them, then joining my Patreon community is the best way to do that. Well, I'm gonna go finish getting organized in this new year. <laughs> it's January, I can still say that. As always, remember to live spiritedly and think creatively and I will see you next time.